What up, everybody? This is Big Elbow. Like always, chilling with dos muchachitos, Averno, Atlantis. And so, um, about a week ago, we went to the uh, Porterville Comic Con, another one put on by uh, Ohana Comic Con. I'll put a link to his page in the in the description. And um, yeah, he's always putting on good shows around the around the Central Valley. Well, I live, we stay in California, um, but he does shows all over around here. Like this dude's putting on shows like every month, so um, it's pretty cool. And there's always good vendors. This was no different. Cheap to get in. All the vendors are pretty cool. Uh, my main guy that I always go to wasn't there. That always comes through with the Fifty Cent books. You know that's my shit, but he wasn't there, so. I'm, I probably bought some books I wouldn't have bought if he would have been there because I was like, man, I can't just come out here. I, I had to pick up some stuff, you know what I mean? Otherwise, it's not worth the drive. It was in Porterville, California, which is about uh, about 20 minute drive from my house. I live in, in Tulare, California. And uh, so, yeah, it wasn't too far. So, uh, let's get into it. Uh, first off, I got. Um, this big bundle of books, right? If you watched my hauls before, you know I got a lot of love for these um, these black and white um, indie comics from the uh, late '80s, early '90s. Um, I didn't know what was in there. He said a dollar, so I was like, "Fuck it." I could see this one right on the front. Like I, I know that's a that's Tim Vigil, who I'm a big fan of, but I already have it. But I was like, ah, oh, for a dollar, there might be something in there that I don't already have. If I would have found this about a year ago, I, it would have worked out great. Unfortunately, uh, most of the good stuff in here I already have. Um, I'll go ahead and show it just real fast. I know most people, most of you guys don't care about this. But I'm still going to show it anyway, show off the good ones. Alright, so this is Nightmaster by Tim Vigil. Which is pretty cool. It only It only went for one issue. Um, Fat Ninja. I don't care for this one. I never. I didn't like that title. Um, it, you know, it was kind of a funny idea, but it wasn't. It just wasn't good. Um, then we have this book called Thieves, which I'm not familiar with. Um, I see a couple familiar characters from the Eradicators, but I don't really know what it's about. And that's Thieves number one. This is Thieves number two. Um, and these are all Silver Wolf comics, which is uh, pretty cool that the Silver Wolf comics, the, everything, all the stuff that goes on, it's all based in Sacramento. All the heroes you know, live in Sacramento, which I thought was cool because, you know, comic books, when I was a kid, they are all, all happened in New York. And it was like, hey, I've been to Sacramento before. You know, I know where it's at. This is Silver Wolf Talent Search. I don't know what that's all about. I looked on the inside just real quick, and it's it's all uh, just text. There's no uh, there's no like story in it or nothing. I don't, I don't know what they're doing there. Uh, this book called Victim. No, wait, let me show Victim Number One. This one I'm not real familiar with. I'm not sure what that's about. Victim Number Two. It doesn't look very good to me personally, but. Uh, Silver Wolf comic book trivia. <laughs> that, whatever you know. Uh, the comic book art series. It shows a Dragon Quest on the cover. There's my man Grips right there. Uh, Dragon Quest number two. Tim Vigil cover. Um, and not interiors. Uh, these are actually really cool. Um, Legion X1 number one. It's a team book. It's cool. Uh, Brandon McKinney. I see him at some some cons here in California. He doesn't really do comic books anymore, but he's gone on to have a pretty good career doing other stuff. With, you know, with his art. Um, so, anyways, it's like the, the two teams and uh, they fight and shit to see who's going to be the number one team. And the, I already have that though. Um, and then I also have this one, Legion X1 number two. And that's where they go after... They try and take down Grips, and he just whoops all their asses. But that's a good book. And then uh, this one... 
is he this is one of the guy you can see him right here his name is port and he's on the legion x team he got a co a solo series um this is number one and this is number two and uh actually this is very early if i don't know you can see the sig right there uh phil hester work so i thought that was kind of cool but yeah most uh good the ones that i know are good i already have but i was like yeah that's kind of cool but it was worth the butt to get those Early Phil Hester books. I, I like Phil Hester. He's, his art's cool. So that's... Sorry, I hope we didn't take too much time on that. Because I know... I'm one of very few people that are really into that shit. So I'm doing a little different this time. I'm, I'm not going by company. I'm just going by vendors. And um, I bought these books for a dollar each off of, a, off of a vendor. They're just the true believers. I don't even know what print that is. I'm not even sure why I got it. I was like, yeah, I got it. I just got it. Um, and Paper Girls Image First um, heard that's good so I'll uh, check it out dollar I thought about ordering it when it came out but I didn't do it so I was like uh, why not and then I got these for 50 cents each I, I actually got the number one of this of this series at uh, my my LCS Blackhawk number two these are 50 cents each and these are nice ass covers I'm not a big Howard Chaykin fan but these covers are good and I looked at the interiors and it's good like I think uh, back then he he was he was a bit better than he is now I really like this cover right here this is awesome Black Hawk. Isn't that a fun title to say? <laughs> go ahead and say that five five times fast. Go, go ahead. But uh, yeah, I heard that um, that this, they're going to do a movie with, uh, I think, Spielberg's attached to it somehow. Um, but for 50 cents, I was like, hey, I, I already got the first one and I read it and it was, it was kind of cool. Uh, why not? You know, at least I got the full series now. I'll read them. And maybe if... Uh, when the movie comes out, if they go up, I can get rid of them if I don't like them too much. Uh, and then I got these for a dollar from another vendor. And it's a JLA classified, number one. Ed McGinnis art, that's why I got it. I figured out when I got home that I already have it. Just with a, a variant cover. Uh, this is the variant cover, I guess, with the, with the villains. Oh, shit, so, oh well. I'll probably get, get rid of one of them. And then JLA Haven number one with some dope ass uh, Ariel Olivetti artwork. I don't know if the story's any good or not, but it's a nice thick book. All painted, uh, no, not painted, just the covers painted. The interiors, um, Olivetti's pencils with inks. Oh, and from also from that vendor, this is the most expensive book I bought, two dollars. Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher, Hearts of Darkness. My man JRJR JR and Cla uh, Klaus Jansen. So, doing Wolverine and Punisher. John Reader Jr., I'm going to pick it up. I also like Ghost Rider. And that's my Ghost Rider that um, I used to buy when I, when I was a kid. was, uh, you know, Danny Ketch as Ghost Rider. So, no way I'm going to let that... Uh, I could have probably found it somewhere else for less than two dollars, but I was like, man, come on. Gotta uh, spend a little money and support the local community, so that way they, they come back. So then the rest of these books, um, I got, for, these next ones I got for, they were $1.50 each, and I ended up paying five bucks for... For all four of them, so they came out to a dollar twenty-five each, right? Which is cool. Um, so I got RoboCop versus Terminator from Dark Horse number four. Completed that series. Um, I've been picking it up in the bargain bins for a minute. This is the most I paid for one. The rest of them I got for fifty cents or a dollar. Um, it was a cool series. Walter uh, Walter Simonson, Frank Miller writing. Um, so yeah, glad to complete that series. Um, I just thought this looks really cool. 
Ghost Rider by um, Garth Ennis and Clayton Crane, number one of six. Um, Ennis is cool. Sometimes, I don't always like his stuff. Um, I think Ghost Rider might be a good fit for him. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Clayton Crane art is just badass in there. I got this uh, Havoc and Wolverine Meltdown. I have the first two issues and this is number three I believe so got one more to go on that it's pretty cool the art is just bad so I was like yeah hell yeah I'll get that um then this is the one man that um I have been buying these x-factor books and just figuring those two keys with the um apocalypse books I'm just not gonna get them I was like I'm not gonna pay that much for them found that one within that thing got it for a dollar uh, fifty and uh, I'm not one to really flip but I was like man I'll read it and then flip and flip it should if it's if I can get a good price for it but because I was looking at it and I was like man this is in good condition it's pretty white all the corners there's no the spine is clean there's no uh no ticks it's a shitty bag but when I took it out of the bag and looked at it it's clean man and I didn't realize it right there dead center if you can see it there's like a little pinhole and a tiny stain so oh well just be a reader copy which all my X Factor collection is reader copies anyways so I'm like fuck it um, and then I got this for it was priced at $2 for the same vendor priced at $2 but he gave it to me for a dollar uh, this is for son, my my son. He's a big fan of the. Uh, he likes Eve Orn. He's the, his main guy, but he likes the chaos stuff. He likes Lady Death, also. So I picked that up for him. It's all chromed out, ninety style. I don't know who that chick is, but Lady Death on the front, and it's a uh, chaos. Lady Death, the Crucible. From nineteen ninety six. So yeah, I got that for Sunny Boy. Speaking of whom, uh, I just got those out there because I'm so damn proud of the kid. Got his GED. Um, he's uh, he's 18. So he got his GED and it just happened that his uh, graduation ceremony was like a week ahead of... If, if he would have stayed in regular school, he would have... His graduation ceremony would have been a week later. But he didn't stick with the original... With regular school... Um, traditional school he he uh actually he just he didn't even he didn't go to the uh like night school or none of that shit he just took his tests and took the gd tests and passed them so he got to they did a little graduation ceremony which was cool it was actually kind of nice because man those graduation ceremonies is during the summertime and they're outside and just sun and you're pretty much just waiting till them for them to call your couple people your one person or your couple people that you're there for and the rest of it you're just like ah damn so this wasn't you know it wasn't as big as that so that was kind of cool but anyways the point is uh proud of that kid man he, he, he had a goal he crushed it love that kid if you're watching sunny boy love you very proud and yeah that that'll do it man that was a porterville uh comic con next coming up these more of these ohana comic cons uh selma on the 10th I won't be going to that because I am going to, uh, we're taking Sonny Boy and his girl to, uh, to Universal Studios, you know, for his graduation. It's like a gift, you know, taking on a little trip. Um, and while I'm there, Universal Studios is like not too far from a, a store that's very well known in California called Spiro's Heroes. Never been there. Real excited to go, saving my money for that. And then after that, we got coming up uh, a Fresno Comic Con on June 17th. I don't know why they did it on Father's Day, but fuck it, it's Father's Day, right? So uh, I'm gonna I'm thinking about myself. It'll be over by four o'clock, anyways. So I'm not gonna miss nothing. Uh, my girl doesn't even get off work till two, so I'm going. Mostly, uh, I'm going, the main reason I want to go is because, uh, where it's at, at the Ramada Inn in Fresno, and, uh, there's sentimental 
purposes. The first show that I ever went to, my big brother, Earn Dog, he never watches his videos, but just in case you're watching this, Earn Dog, love you, man. Thanks for making that memory. He took me and my best friend, Isaac. And shout out to you, Isaac, if you're watching this. I know you remember this day. Uh, he took us to the first con we ever went to in Fresno at the Ramada Inn. So that's why I'm going. Just to, you know, That's the main reason I'm going. Of course, I'm going to buy books, but... You know, just to kind of reminisce on that stuff. Um, had a man, that was a fun day. My boy Isaac, he bought some uh, some manga on VHS. Um, what was it called? Megazone something. I don't know, but it was cool. Um, I mostly just bought bargain books, just like I do now. <laughs> My brother got ripped off for uh, like twenty bucks by some guy that you got a commission from Les White was his name if anyone knows where to find Les White let me know because I'm looking for the motherfucker we got business he owes my brother 20 bucks when he forgot about it um and then this one in on July 1st in Hanford which is about a 30 minute drive from where I live um I'm, I'm gonna try I'll probably go to that one I don't see no reason not to unless I'm just broke but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go like I said just to help support the community so they keep coming back. Ohana Comic Con, you know, keep doing your thing, bringing us those, bringing us the shows in our area. And uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. And uh, get off of YouTube and go read some fucking comics.